Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make white noise filter sweeps in FL Studio. So filter sweeps are commonly heard in transitions, and some people say they sound like wind or the ocean or you know maybe a crowd, but they're really a nice way to kind of build or release tension in a track, and uh, I'll be showing you how to create them, you know, create your own custom sweeps using Citrus in FL Studio. So the first thing you want to do is load up a Citrus and uh, get the default preset. And I'm going to disable operator 1 to the out, and instead I'm going to route operator 1 through um, F1 or filter 1. And then I'll route the filter 1. To the output. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to use the filters inside of Citrus to create my sweep. Um, if you would prefer to use you know, a different filter plugin and not use Citrus's filters, then you could just leave the operator one um, going to the output directly. But because I'm going to use the filters, I have it set up like this. So now what I'm going to do is turn on the unison and set it to the order of two. Uh, you can play around with using, you know, different values for the unison order, you know, using a different number of voices. Uh, but in my experience, you know, two is kind of what I prefer to use. Uh, and then I'm just going to turn the volume all the way up, uh, the unison volume. And for now, I'm going to leave everything as it is. And then I'm going to go into operator one and turn it into a noise oscillator by increasing the you know, this last fader here, the noise, all the way up to 100%. And now you'll hear that I have a white noise sound uh, because of this, and then it's stereo because of that unison. And so now what I'm going to do is go into the filter and change the filter type. Um, so if, if you want to experiment with the different filters, you can uh, kind of click and drag to change them, or right click and select them. But I'm going to leave it on the default, which is the chocolate state variable filter. And uh, this filter, I, I like it quite a bit because it acts as you know a low pass filter and a band pass filter and a high pass filter, depending on how you set it up. Uh, so by default, it's set to a low pass filter. And you can use a low pass filter if you want, but I think it's more common to use band pass filters or high pass filters. And one thing I'm going to do, I forgot to do it earlier, is back on the main panel, I'm going to turn on the oversampling up to two times. And this will help the filter be a little bit more clean, um, prevent aliasing from those high frequencies. So from this point, it's really up to you to customize the filter. Um, you know, if you're not familiar with Citrus, you can just output the white noise directly, and then use your own custom filter that you might be more familiar with. Um, or you can play around with the Citrus filters and see if you can come up with anything that you like. So I think I like it just like that. Um, you know, for the sake of the video, keeping it not too long, I'm just going to leave it as it is because it sounds okay. Uh, now, at this point, you could use the different envelopes in Citrus to, to create the, you know, kind of sweep you're looking for. You could enable the cutoff envelope. And I do do this a lot of the time, but sometimes it's easier just to, you know, create automation clips in the playlist as long as you don't mind using automation clips. So to do that, I'm going to create an automation clip for the cutoff. Uh, I'm going to create one for the resonance. And then I'm going to create one for the overall volume of Citrus. And you know, now I will play Citrus in the piano roll. And I'll you know make it as long as you want the sweep. 
Uh, so if you want it to occur over a couple bars. Uh, you could have it be a couple bars. Uh, if, if you want it longer or shorter, you could you know set it however long you want. And then I'm just going to put that in the uh, playlist. And now I'm going to use the automation clips to you know create the sweep effect. So if you want a sweep going up, you know you can start low and then go high. And of course you can automate the volume to start it off a bit smoother. You could have the resonance be higher uh, for the lower frequencies. And you know, you can really play around with it to you get the kind of sound you want. Uh, alternatively, if you want, you know, kind of a downwards filter sweep, you can take the cutoff from from high to low, and you know, you you still might want to fade in the volume a bit at the beginning. And then you might fade it out um, towards the end as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, of course, you can spend a lot more time playing around with it on your own to you know really get some more unique uh, kind of filter sweeps or to you know get it to sound exactly how you want. Uh, I do recommend you know after you do the basics, add some reverb. Uh, maybe a bit of delay if you want, but definitely reverb. And that just helps it, um, you know, kind of put it in the background of the mix. But yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you can now start making your own filter sweep sounds with Citrus in FL Studio. Um, you don't have to use Citrus. You can use any synthesizer that can create white noise. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.